what's up fans this is lucky and i welcome you guys back to this tutorial section again so guys in this video i want to show you how to unlock the forgotten pin of your android device now if you have been following me on this channel recently i posted a video on how to unlock any forgotten android pattern and after that video guys a lot of comments came in that i social make a video on how to unlock any forgotten android pin so that is what today's video is meant for so let's now jump in into this video and lest i forget if today is your first time of visiting our youtube page guys i would like you to subscribe and turn on the bell notification so in case anytime that will drop a new content here on our youtube channel you'll be notified and you come and watch our video right so without further ado let's now ride in into this video <music> Alright guys, so this is the phone that we're going to be using to demonstrate this process. So this is Infinix S4. So all you have to do is just to follow the step that I'm going to be showing you in this video and you'll be able to unlock your forgotten pin on your mobile phone, right? So and it's important for me to note here that this video is not in any way promoting or legalizing any criminal activity. I'm just shooting at this video just for educational purpose in case if you encounter this kind of problem, alright? So let's start. So guys, as you can see here, I've forgotten the the pin to unlock this phone okay let's actually try again in 30 seconds okay so guys so when you get to this place all you need to do is just to uh, power off the phone just hold the, the power button and then from here just slide to shut down the phone and then you wait for the phone to turn off okay so the phone is off now so the first method here now is to hold the vol the volume up and then the power button together so i'll hold the power button and the volume up button together so let's clip it together so you clip it and then you wait for the uh, the infinix logo to come out so when you come out just release your hand and then you allow it to load up so you are going to get a screen like this so when you get a screen like this so the next step here now is to hold the power button the volume down and then the up volume key at this place here so that's the next thing we are going to do here now so i'll quickly hold i'm going to hold the, the power button the volume down button and then the volume up button i'm going to press the three at the same time so yeah so just hold them like this so when you do that you're going to get an option like this so guys from here this is where i want to make out this note that this method is actually going to um format this phone so you are going to lose all your files and all your data so before you continue with this stage make sure that you have backed up all your files and all your data that you have on the phone because this method is going to delete all the files and all the data if you don't know how to back up your files on your google drive i'm going to leave a link in the description of this video all you need to do is just to click and watch that video and you learn how to uh, upload all your files on your google drive right okay so when you get to this place all you have to do is just to use the volume down button to uh, go to come to this option here wipe wipe data or factory reset so i'll just use the volume down button to get to that option there so i'll click on the volume down button until i get to that option so when i get to the option i'll just click on the power button i'll click on it so and it's going to ask me that this is going to delete all the files and all the data all i need to do is just to use the volume down button to bring it to yes right so from here so i'll just use the volume down button and then come to the next option and then i'll click on the power button option there to enter i'll just click on yes and then as you can see here the phone is formatting so guys data wipe complete so now what we need to do here now is to restart the phone and then upon restarting we will not find the part all we need to do just to set up the phone and then the phone is ready to be used the pattern will no longer be there sorry the pin is no longer going to be there so here i'll just click on the power button for us to reboot the phone so i'll just click on it and then the phone will start booting
So guys, it's taking time because this is the first time our boot after the, the formatting that we just did. So the next boot is not going to take time like this. So that's just the, the reason why it's taking time like this. So we just have to be patient and allow the setup to load. All right, guys. So here we are in the setup page. So here is as if we just got a new phone, and then we are about to set it up. So from here, I'll just click on start. So I will skip the network uh, connection for now. I'll just click on skip. I'll click on skip. I'll skip this. From here click on next I'll skip this also I'll skip this so I don't know set any lock screen for now not now skip accept So from here, I'll just choose my country. Then I'll click on next. I'll accept the license terms and agreement. Click on next. From here, I'll just click on next. So guys, we we'll successfully unlock this our smartphone here so you can see we don't have any lock on the phone again so you can now set up a new lock for the phone so we don't have all our files and everything is gone so so assuming you backed up all your files so all you need to do is just to go to your google drive and you'll be able to restore back your files on your smartphone right okay guys so that brings us to the end of this tutorial all right guys so thank you for watching today's tutorial guys if you really enjoy watching this tutorial all you need to do is just to give this video a thumbs up and what that is going to do is that it's going to actually enable youtube to show this video to a good number of audience here on youtube guys and if today is your first time of visiting our youtube channel guys i would like you to subscribe and turn on the bell notification so in case anytime that will drop a new content on our channel you'll be notified and you come and watch our video right so see you in the next tutorial